Alberto Garcia. Congratulations, man. It was a great night for you guys. It was a good night. Yeah, we had uh, two, two fights, two wins. Yeah, Navarro and uh, and uh, Joshua Franco. Uh, I'm sorry, Navarro. Yeah, Franco. Yeah, tell us, um, tell us the first Navarro fight. It seemed like he was in a tough fight. The guy was tough, dude. Look, Navarro, Navarro was in a tough fight. You know, it was it was something that uh, Go uh, Golden Boy uh, Promotions and myself we we talked about. We, we need to get him in tough because because uh, uh, you know we need to teach him a lesson. You know, he's a kid that likes to gain a lot of weight and then he loses too much weight. <laughs> so by the time he loses weight, he loses a lot of uh, a lot of his energy and power. Yeah. So it was a perfect fight for him to uh, to get back to the gym and and, and, and watch his weight. It's very important. You know, I tell all my kids, you know, it's very important. You know, not because you guys are, are out of a fight doesn't mean you're never gonna fight again. You guys have to watch what you eat. You guys are athletes. You guys are different. You guys are not like like any other friend that you guys have. You know, you guys they they could go eat whatever they want. You guys are special. So that that was a good learning experience for him. And Joshua Franco right here got the uh, the KO victory. Tell us, he, he's one of the the calmest uh, fighters I've seen in there, especially at, at such, such a young age. Look, he fights very patient. He's very smart in the ring. He uh, he's got tremendous skills and very nice power. So if he you know the times the times that he fights smart and, and uses his his feet in and out, he, he lands beautiful uppercuts, beautiful hooks, body shots. He's got beautiful body shots. So when he fights like that, you know I think he you know he's soon to to step it up to 10 rounds and maybe in the near future not too long from now fight for a title you know he's already sparred a lot of uh, uh world champions he he's, he's done a lot of sparring with Abner Mares. he did a lot of sparring with Quadras and uh and uh honestly was performing very well against Quadras so so you know he knows uh he knows he'll, he'll be ready in the next few fights you know Golden Boy will do their job but I know he'll be ready in a couple more fights definitely look uh Jonathan, you know, like I said, you know, the only thing about him was the learning experience, you know, that we wanted to teach him. But besides that, they're they're learning well. They're in the gym. They they uh, they train hard. They're uh, they're motivated. Uh, with uh, with Franco, you know, Franco has great skills. He fights very smart, very patient. He's a really good counter puncher. He fights very smart in the ring. He uses his left very nice. So we just got you know we just got to stop stepping up the uh, the competition. And uh, once we do that, I know the better the uh, the better the the, the competition, the better he's going to perform. Robert, uh, Joshua, you made very common points of the fight that way he was able to showcase his whole arsenal. Uh, why was he doing that? Look, he, he's in the gym surrounded by great fighters, you know, watching Mikey train, watching Abner spar and train. You know, this guy tell these kids, you know, you guys live here, so you guys are in the gym every, all day, every day. So when Mike is training, I want you to come and see Mike train. When I'm training, I want you to come. So you know he's very smart, and, and plus he he already has great skills. So the the little that he sees when he sees Mike train and spar, then you know he picks up things like that, and, and you know it's only learning experience for him. You know he he learns a lot. Mikey tells him a lot of little things too. So it's it's just uh, a matter of time, little by little. I think he's uh, he's he's uh, he's developing very well, and you know I don't want to. It either, but he'll be ready in the next couple of fights, you know, to step it up to 10 rounds and and and, and maybe start looking for a, for a big fight later this year. You're a busy man. Uh, have you even had time to celebrate uh, Mikey's victory? Uh, no, we don't. We don't have time. Not even, you know, we can't even celebrate uh, birthdays. You know, my daughter's birthday was when I was in when I was in Vegas, so so we didn't even we haven't even had a chance to celebrate with my daughter. So it's that's part of the job. You know, we uh, we love what we do, and uh, you know, my fighters are are, are happy with the work. So I got to continue doing my work. And you haven't even had time to celebrate. Uh, what about the, looking into the future about the next opponent for Mikey? Look, that, that's something that uh, we'll, we're going to wait a little bit because I know, you know, if, if we're going to unify, you know, something against uh, maybe Linares, we got to wait for his fight. If, uh, if we want uh, Flanagan, who's the WBA champion, he also has a fight coming up. So we got we to gotta wait. You know, uh, there's no there's no rush. I think they're already looking for Mikey to come back sometime in June. So we got plenty of time. Hey, what about, I heard, I, uh, sorry, I heard that uh, Chavez said that he wants you and Nacho Badistan to train him. Is there any truth for that on the fight for Canelo? Look, I, I've talked 
to uh, to Chavez team and everything, and they they really wanted me to uh, to train them, but they wanted me to go to Mexico, and uh, and I'm like I can't do that, you know, with with all these young fighters that I have, you know, these guys come from San Antonio. Uh, I'm I'm training Misael Rodriguez, who who is the Mexican Olympian who won a, a bronze medal, you know, he's in Riverside training with me, came from Mexico, so you know those guys come looking for me, so I you know I can't leave them, you know, even though they're turning pro, these guys are fighting six and eight rounds, you know, uh, they're loyal to me and they come from from different uh, uh, parts of uh, the United States to look for my services. So, you know, I told I told Chavez's dad, I, I said, if uh, if you know if you guys really need me to, to work with you, it has to be in Riverside, or else I, I got to pass. I couldn't do that. You know, I know it's a great fight to be in. It. I would would have loved to be part of that fight because I know Chavez has the tools to uh, to to beat Canelo. But you know, being that he wants to stay in Mexico, we couldn't we couldn't come to an agreement. With that great team that he has, with that great team that he has, and he's going to be coming in heavier that night. Is that what is that what's going to be one of the keys? Definitely, you know, he's a big guy. He's a very strong person. He's got tremendous chin. So I think, uh, I think, you know, if he's in great shape, if he's in shape like like never before, I think I give him a shot to to be able to beat uh, Canelo. Well, but let's talk about the weight issue. I mean, it's 164 and a half. You've been in the gym with him. Can he make that? Can he be effective at that weight? Well, I think he came in like at uh, a little under 68 in his last fight. So, you know, working with Memo and being dedicated, dedicated, I have no doubt that he's going to be able to make weight. And do you think he'll still be as effective as he can be at that weight? At well, I, I think his better moments were, were when he was fighting at 160. He had some great performances, great fights, and uh, and looked very strong at 160. So I think uh, if he, like I'm telling you, you know, he's got over three months. So if he trains and, and, and makes the weight comfortable, uh, I have no doubt that he's got a big shot at, at beating Canelo. Robert, the consensus is in favor of Canelo Alvarez to defeat Chavez Jr. However, you're one of the few that has chosen and it says that uh, Chavez Jr. could pull off the upset. I spoke to Abel Sanchez the other day and he also feels that Canelo is going to have a very difficult time against Chavez Jr. Why is that? Look, uh, we, we've seen we've seen Canelo. Yes, Canelo is very talented. Right now at this time, maybe one of the best pound for pound fighters of the, in, in the world. But uh, but he's fighting a big guy. You know, Chavez is going to be 15, 20 pounds heavier than him. You know, so so that itself is gonna make a big difference. You know, I don't I don't think Canelo Canelo is gonna be I'd be surprised if Canelo has uh, the power to hurt Chavez. And and Chavez could take a few punches the first few rounds, but if he keeps coming, keeps coming, I think in the later rounds that's that's where we would see Chavez pull it up and, and maybe even stop him. That, that's the way I see it. Because I, I respect your boxing IQ. So I'm you know, we've seen we, we've seen uh, we've seen Canelo fight smaller guys and uh, and they backed him up into the ropes and you know he blocks very well you know I'm not saying that he does that he uh, that he does not he blocks very well but he's also been hurt you know a few years ago we seen him get hurt against uh, uh, Koto's younger brother or Koto's no, brother right. and he was badly was hurt seven, you know yeah. if you if you if, if, if Chavez lands those punches I think Chavez could, could hurt him I think Chavez is just too big for him who has a better chin between Canelo and Chavez in your opinion what I, you know Look, we were just talking about Chavez, uh, Chavez's chin, but he got knocked out. But he got knocked out a li uh, light heavyweight against a solid guy. Uh, Canelo, we just we just mentioned right now, he got hurt against uh, a guy that was probably a lightweight at what you know, moving up to Walter Ridge, yes. and he got hurt pretty bad. So I think uh, in this case, I, I give the the edge to Chavez as a better chin. Definitely. Hey, Robert, I saw some flashes of you with uh, you're giving instructions to Joshua Franco. We're gonna come back as the uh, uh, IBF junior lightweight champ making that return. Look, this <laughs> look uh, that that would never happen. But you know, I want I want to do that with my kids. You know, with my fighters. You look they, good though, you they, uh, <laughs> they, uh, they got to learn from me. You know, I, I tell them, you know, you guys got to be. I, I still, I still box, man. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm sure I still kick their ass. A few more fights, maybe they'll beat me. Right now, I'm still kicking their ass. <laughs> hey, talking shit. <laughs> right, awesome. Thank you, Robert. Thank Appreciate you the time. Thank you. Thank you.